welcome back to my channel. I am attending a Halloween party. I don't have a lot of time to like make a costume or go buy one. So I decided to just be a cat. When in doubt, be a cat. But it slowly turned from cat to lion because I have light hair and it's like all over the place all the time. So it just fits. And I'm gonna show you guys right now how I got this simple, easy lion look. So starting with my hair, of course, it's a very important part. I wanna make it really big because male lions have that mane though. So I guess I'm, I'm a male lion. So I shampooed and conditioned my hair already. I used my Dove Oxygen Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner because I want my hair to be really bouncy for this look. I want it to be full um, of volume. So the cleaner the hair, the bouncier it is for me. So that means I need to do a lot of teasing. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. And I use this teasing brush right here. I just like a brush with a lot of bristles like this for teasing. You can find them anywhere. And I'm also using a lot of hairspray. And I'm using the Suave Professionals hairspray because it's extra hold. Now, I like to use extra hold when I'm teasing because it holds all the extra. Now, as you can see, I am grabbing a section, spraying it with hairspray, taking my teasing brush, and I'm back combing it. I'm taking another section, pairing it up with my previous section, and then repeat the process until you get to the back of your head. And don't worry about over teasing. Don't worry about it looking very scary. It will for a little bit until you comb it out, style it, move it around a little bit. You can add some curls if you want to after you tease it. And then afterwards, what I'm gonna do is just take my Tresemme No Frizz Shine Spray. I'm gonna spray it all over like the ends of my hair and the top just to give it like the extra shine that it kind of lost when I was teasing it. But don't make it too neat because you kind of want that wild, messy look also. You just want to you know, look cute while you're looking messy. I have become one with my hair. And now I'm gonna start on my makeup. I am wearing some yellow contacts because I am supposed to be cat and they usually have light eyes. All right, now for my eyes, I just kind of like put on some neutral colors because I want this look to obviously be dramatic, but I don't want it to be too dramatic. So I decided to just put um, a little bit of cream around my eyes on the lid and on the lower lash line just to kind of mimic that of a lion's. And then afterwards for the crease, I just added this warm brown eyeshadow color. All right, eyeliner, a different story. I did kind of want to go dramatic for the eyeliner because um, it's a cat. So I added a really thick line above my lash line and then I also brought my wing up, almost like towards my eyebrow, like that far. I, I winged it out. And then on the lower lash line, I also added some black eyeliner, but I kept it more on the outer corner of the lower lash line instead of all the way across. And then I decided to finish my eyeliner a little bit later, but I went to my eyelashes and I did that because this was a get ready with me video in Sometimes I go out of order. So I glued on my eyelashes. Then of course I had to add my mascara. So I applied that to my lashes and also my lower lashes as well. Then I wanted to add some color to my face because I noticed that a lot of lions have red or black coloring on their manes and some parts of their face. So I added some bronzer. It's like a reddish bronzer around my hairline, my cheeks, neck, all that. So I can have some coloring myself. Yes, bronzer is awesome. Then I gotta do the lion's nosy. And it usually starts like the lower part of your nostril. And then you wanna bring it up and then you wanna bring it down almost like a heart. Lions have heart shaped noses, it's so cute. So in the center, make sure it is kind of curving downwards. And then afterwards underneath my nose, I also created like a little curve area. And since most lions have a nose that is either pink or fades from black to pink, I went ahead and I added um, some pink eyeshadow in the center and then I kind of made it fade from black to pink. Then directly above my nose, I added this light cream color because many lions have that beautiful feature as well. Then I just kind of blended that cream line so it's not so harsh and so it kind of fades into the rest of my color gradually. Then of course, I gotta draw the famous line that connects the nostrils to the lips. Um, just draw a line. And that line will bring us to our next step and that is the lips. Now I noticed, and I would say 90% of the pictures lines have black lips, so it's a perfect excuse for me to do black lips. I am going to do a little different though. I'm gonna line my lips with black liner first, but once I meet my cupid's bow, which is that little curve in your top lip, I'm gonna trace over that because lions don't have our cupid's bow and cartoons, they do what I'm saying, they usually draw over it as well, so I'm gonna do it too. Then afterwards, I'm just going to kind of fluff my hair. I'm gonna stick with tan colored clothing to match the lion. And you have an easy, wild, DIY lion face. I hope that you guys liked this video. Thumbs up or comment if you did. And I'll see you guys soon. I love you, bye.